Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to How to Build a Biosphere. Remember, a prerequisite for this class is how to build an atom. You'll be needing a few of those atoms you've built to get started here. Okay, let's get right to it. Take a bunch of those atoms you built, I'm talking some oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, stuff like that, and go ahead and bond them together into molecules. You could use some nice construction adhesive like this, but you'll save money on supplies if you just use some carbon atoms. Carbon's real useful, you know, because it bonds together to form macromolecules like lipids, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, and proteins. Right, so you got yourself a few gazillion molecules, like this nice protein I put together before class. Now it's time to make some cells. Making a good cell takes a lot of practice, so start with something small, like a bacterium if you're a novice. Me, since I made this hemoglobin protein last night, I'm gonna do your standard red blood cell. All right, check out that red blood cell. Just like bricks come together to form a wall, cells come together to form tissues. And just like walls come together to form buildings, tissues come together to form organs. Organs that work together form organ systems. Organ systems combine, and before you know it, you got yourself a whole organism. Hey, don't judge me. It's a work in progress. Repeat steps one through eight until you got yourself a whole population. Then mix it up. Throw in some different types of organisms to make a community. To make a full-on ecosystem, add your own non-living parts. I recommend, at minimum, some rocks, water, and air. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. Oh, jeez! That didn't go so well for that grasshopper. Getting a good ecosystem can take a few tries. That's okay. To make a whole biosphere, you're gonna need thousands of ecosystems. So you'll get a lot of practice making them. Group your similar ecosystems together into biomes. Once you got the whole planet covered with biomes, boom! You got your biosphere. Easy as that, folks. Be sure to sign up for the next class in our series, How to Make a Solar System.